welcome back to my channel everyone in today's video we are going to break down some of the most important building blocks in electronics passive components these components don't require any external power to operate but they play a huge role in controlling current voltage signal and protection in every circuit you see around you we will go through resistors capacitors inductors thermistors, varistors, ferrite beads, crystal oscillators, and electronic filters, all in a simple and practical way. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. First, we have a resistor. A resistor resists or limits the flow of electric current. You will find resistors in almost every circuit. They are used to control current, set a voltage level, bias transistors, or protect sensitive components. They come out in various types like carbon film, metal film, wire wound, and they are marked using the resistor color code. Next is the capacitor, a component that stores electrical energy in the form of electric field. Capacitors are used for smoothing power supplies, filtering noise, and timing circuits, and signals coupling and decoupling. Different types include electrolytic, ceramic, tantalium, and film capacitors. The key things to note are capacitance value, voltage rating, and polarity. Now let's talk about inductor. An inductor stores energy in the magnetic field whenever current flows through it. Inductors are commonly used in power supplies, in transformers, in filters, in boost and back converters, and RF circuits. Inductors resist sudden change in current, making them perfect for noise filtering and energy transfer. Thermistor. Thermistor is a temperature dependent resistor. Its resistance changes with temperature. Two main types include NTC, which is the resistance decreases with temperature, and PTC, resistance increases with temperature. They are used in sensors, in chargers, and protection circuits. A varistor. A varistor is a voltage dependent electronic component that acts as a surge protector by changing its resistance based on the applied voltage. It has high resistance under normal voltage conditions, but its resistance drops dramatically to a low value when the voltage exceeds a specific threshold like during power surge. This action diverts excessive voltage and current away from the sensitive components, protecting the circuits, with the most common types being the metal oxide varistor. They are found in TVs, in chargers, and in power supplies. Ferrite beads. Ferrite beads are passive electronic components used to suppress high frequency noise and electromagnetic interface in a circuit by dissipating the noise as heat. They work by acting like a loose inductor, providing a high impedance at a specific high frequency while allowing low frequencies to pass through with minimum effect. These beads are made of soft ferrite material, core with a conductor like copper wrapped around it and are commonly found on power and signal cables such as laptop chargers or as a surface mounted and through hole component on a printed circuit boards. Crystal oscillator. A crystal oscillator is an electronic circuit using a vibrating piezoelectric crystal, usually quartz, to generate an extremely stable and precise electrical signal or frequency acting as the heartbeat or a clock for digital devices like computer, watches, and radios, ensuring accurate timing for instruction, execution, or signal stabilization. It works via the piezoelectric effect where the mechanical stress or vibration produce voltage and voltage causes distortion, creating a self-sustaining accurate oscillation when feedback through an amplifier circuit. They are used in microcontrollers, in clocks, in communication devices, and in computers. 
The last one is electronic filters. An electronic filter is an electrical circuit that manipulates an electronic signal by removing or enhancing certain frequencies. These circuits build with com components like resistors, capacitors, and inductors, which are passive components. I use them in a wide variety of applications to clean up signals such as reducing noise in audio, audio system, selecting a specific frequency band in a communication, and smoothing voltage in power electronics. Types include low pass, high pass, band pass, and notch. Thanks for watching. Please drop in a comment that which passive components you like most. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.